So this Gorelli is, I do believe from the 70s of late 70s or very early 80s. Lean that against there. There's no kickstand on it, so I gotta lean it again. It's a rally sport. And uh, it's got the carburetor right here with the intake on the front, a spark plug, and the cylinder head directly underneath it. We got the pedals, we got the exhaust with the bullet style exhaust coming off the left side. I really like these chrome bullet styles. And then, uh, as you can see, the tires still aren't flat or anything. They're not. They're not even that low. Push on them a little bit, but it's been a couple days uh, since I filled them, and I I think it's more just the flip flopping of weather than anything else. Um, I think they're 16 inch tires. So uh, new tubes do come with valve stems and stuff, and that would probably solve the issue right there, uh, if there is any. The uh, number on here is ST01475. Zoom in on that so we can see it. And then other than that number, I didn't really, I didn't find any other uh, markings or stickers or anything. We'll give any more identifying information about this bike. Here's the other side of the scooter there. Not entirely sure what this thing is on here for. I was like that when I got it. Somebody got some wires up and taped it up. I think uh, that may have gone to what, what, whatever was in here. Possibly a kill switch or something. And uh, they didn't want to replace it, so they just kind of made their own or something. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It's a Gorelli Rally Sport. And I believe it is late 70s, 78, 79, maybe even 80. Uh, one of those years. And it's actually in halfway decent shape. I mean, it's got the the usual scooter cosmetic flaws. You got some rips in the seats and fading in the paint and whatever else. But after 30 years, that's all totally normal. It runs just fine. It still needs a little bit of tweaking on the carburetor. But other than that, you can get on this thing and go if you needed to.